What is up, everybody? My name is Longside, and today we are back on another morning ramble. Not for the OSRS community, but just for the crypto community and whoever is interested in general. Um, basically, I usually make RuneScape videos uh, talking about RuneScape news and re Reddit updates and everything of that nature. But today we got kind of an interesting topic, at least I find interesting. And uh, I kind of wanted to throw it out there just to kind of talk about it with people because I know crypto right now it's having another gold rush kind of deal uh kind of like what we saw in 2017 to 2018 and uh, i kind of wanted to just talk about something right and this isn't me i'm not i'm not a professional right i actually don't know jack I, I know a little bit about crypto haven't watched a lot of videos on it but uh i, I know a, a quite a little bit about crypto uh the main thing i do know is you, you buy some and you make money okay <laughs> so that's what i do know so we're gonna talk about a little, a few things here. Um, gonna keep it kind of straight to the point. Uh, no, no edits, cuts, or anything like that, um, because I don't do that. You know, I just I do raw footage. Um, so, so essentially, let me kind of fix the mic here. My mic thing's been messing up on me here. But anyway, so what I'm thinking here, and correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, so what we saw back in the day with Bitcoin. Okay, Bitcoin was uh, two thousand dollars. Four thousand dollars got up to twelve thousand dollars, and we were like, "What the heck is going on here?" Right uh, now, you know, obviously Bitcoin's like sixty thousand dollars for one Bitcoin, right? So we made it a long way. But let's talk about that. So when Bitcoin was kind of getting up there, right, twelve thousand, six thousand, all that stuff. We're talking big numbers here, no matter what. Okay, obviously it's at a bigger number. We're still talking six thousand. $12,000 is a lot of money for someone to drop on a digital asset, right? So people were obviously dropping like $500 on it. You know, they, they were putting as much money as possible uh, into this crypto because it was something that they heard about for a long time. And it, it was, they, they believed in it that it could, it could go to the extent of where it is now, right? So let's talk about Dogecoin and talk about all these altcoins that are popping off here today um in these times right so this is just kind of like a theory um not really expecting like i said to sound like i'm a know-it-all or anything like that and i know i'm not looking at the camera here i'm just uh yeah i got the camera <laughs> i got everything mixed up it, this isn't normally how i make my videos but basically kind of just talking about this here so dogecoin used to be about you know less than a cent right if you if you invest in it early enough um, and then, you know, people started talking a lot more about it when it hit five cents, eight cents, started getting up in the cents, you know, on its way to a dollar. And then here we are now, it topped off at, I believe, 75 cents. So it got up there pretty high. Um, now, I don't know if this makes sense, but in this day and age, with this whole crypto rush, I feel like Dogecoin kind of set it off, right? And it, it set it off in a way... Um, kind of showing that you can invest little money and make big money so you're talking like people put in fifty dollars when it was at like five cents and then they took that 50 and, and then obviously it grew to 70 cents and, and then they made it to where boom that fifty dollars probably hit a couple thousand right so they're sitting there like dang i made some money off of this this little coin that's supposed to be a joke right um so Essentially, what I'm kind of getting at here is now we have these altcoins, and I, look, I don't know what's up with my microphone stand, but we're getting these altcoins here uh, in these days, and um, you know they're less than a cent. They're in the satoshis and stuff, and we have people investing very little money, right? Very little money. Um, and what does that mean, right? What does that mean? Why do these people? Why are why are people investing little money, and why does that matter? Well, let's talk about that. So, in my case. What I'm thinking here in my head. So back in the day when we had the altcoin rush, XRP, Stellar, um, I'm trying to think of some other ones. Um, you get the gist. Uh, XRP and Stellar. Back in the days when those those were like the the yo buy now it's gonna pop off. When those were the coins that everyone was kind of talking about. Um, when those were the coins everyone was talking about, it was more or less people were making money after dropping a big load of money on bitcoin so they took their they took their profits from bitcoin they were dropping you know big money on stellar and xrp and, and then essentially in, in my head now correct me if i'm wrong it inflated the price and, and, and it created this this uh 
importance of these cryptocurrencies because people were making a a buck off of <laughs> off of XR, RX, uh, no, 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 XRP and Stellar. Like I said, this is all just my speculation and my opinion. Um, flame me. I want you to tell me I'm wrong, right? I want you. I want you to post what I'm missing out on here because this, this that's the whole point of this. I want I want you to teach me you you to teach me what I'm, I'm what I'm messing up on here because I'm not an expert. Okay, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not giving financial advice. I, I I'm I'm still learning myself. But let's talk about now. We're talking so Dogecoin is basically the spotlight here as bitcoin was in 2017 now dogecoin's the spotlight and dogecoin isn't really worth a dollar even so it's like people are making a boatload of money off putting 50 dollars on on a shit coin and altcoins and, and making it to where it's like hey you don't even, you don't even really have to invest big money into these coins to make big profits so what does that mean that means now we have these Altcoins, and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and show you my portfolio that I got going on here. Um, Shiba, I just got into Shiba the other day. Safe Moon, been in Safe Moon for a minute. Telcoin, Telcoin, I'm very excited for. I do believe that's gonna hit a dollar. I believe that's gonna be one of those coins that have utility, and uh, will hit a dollar. And um, you know, really, really good coins. But as far as like these Satoshi coins, I believe it, it's like. It's had its bull run, and now we're talking people, they're not going to keep investing money. I mean, obviously, there are people investing money. You know, you see on the Reddit, people people have millions of dollars in Shiba right now. They have, you know, they put $500, $600. But it's like, for the most part, people aren't investing big money into these coins. One, because they're very, very annoying to get into right now. Uh, Safe Moon being an example. Uh, you you know gotta gotta sit here take the the cum coin put it in the fart bucks then pancakes will do it and then you gotta you know put in the the trust wall and all that stuff I mean it's a pain in the ass uh, and then the Shiba you know it's like okay what do you want to do do you want to go on an exchange and keep your Shiba there or do you want to you want to fucking buy two hundred dollars worth of network fees and get about twenty dollars worth of Shiba? It, it, it's it's a pain in the ass to get in these cryptos nowadays, especially. And that 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 might be why we're you know it's putting a threshold on how high it can actually get. Uh, but also, I feel like it's not going to get too high just because people aren't investing a lot of money. People aren't investing the amount of money that they invested into crypt or into Bitcoin because when Bitcoin was popping off at six thousand, at four thousand, it's like you had to invest some kind of money because for you to only double your profits, it'd have to go to eight thousand dollars. So in that sense, people were dropping three thousand dollars, all this stuff. But like you sit here and drop three thousand dollars on a shit coin, that three thousand dollars can go to a hundred dollars really fast. So people are kind of cautious doing that, and I definitely understand. But it's like these coins aren't going to get um, aren't going to get some traction, if that's even the word, until people start putting a lot of money into them. I feel like now, correct me if I'm wrong, please. This is all just to create discussion, and I hope it gets the the you know reach that I'm hoping here, uh, because it, it really is just my opinion. You know, if we want to see these cryptos go to the moon. We got to stop trying to get quick profits off every shit coin that comes out, you know, uh, you know, uh, poopy, poopy, doggy butthole coin comes out and, and dropping 50 bucks on it, hoping to get $800. We got to stop with that, that mindset. Obviously, you can do that, but why don't we focus our attention on one coin like safe moon for example i really like safe moon safe moon was the coin that i was kind of hiding for a little bit because it was like all right this is this is something that like you know i don't know why i was hiding and obviously i'm 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 piping it up with some people and stuff but that was the coin i was going to come out and talk about and stuff and i'm going to create a video on safe moon and why i think it's a really good investment um uh, personally this is not financial advice but yeah like we we got to we got to consolidate our, our, our efforts into one coin because Really and truthfully, these coins are in Satoshis right now. If it hits a, if one of these coins hit a dollar, you're talking millions right there. Millions. And I don't know how many millions you want to make, but <laughs> hey, look, I'm fine with one million, okay? I'll, t I'll take one million, and then from there, hey, I'll, I'll do the rest, okay? I ain't worried about crypto at that point. I'll do the rest. I'm not going to be buying cars or anything like that. I'm going to do the rest, okay? 
Um, so I don't know what the heck everyone's trying to do, but that's that's my opinion. Let me know what you think. Obviously, like I'm thinking in the sense of like these cryptos to, to for them to grow, we have to invest a lot of money. Uh, if I'm wrong about that, let me know. But that's essentially what we're seeing with Dogecoin. You know, we're sitting here seeing who's going to pay the most for a water bottle. It's like uh, for like you know for Dogecoin to hit a dollar, people have to be willing to pay for one Dogecoin a dollar in 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 big amounts. So. That's just kind of where my mindset is, you know, and especially FOMO, right? People have FOMO. It's like, ah, well, uh, you know, Sheba's already gone up a million percent. I've missed out on that train. It's like, and then they move on to the next shit coin. And it's like that. I, th- I feel like that's the time we're in right now. Now, Telcoin, Telcoin, look, I'm telling you right now, I'm putting this video out here and you can see a date on it. And I want you to come back to this video. Telcoin, whew, <laughs> like Elon Musk said, to the moon and that's what I'm saying about telecoin because telecoin to the moon I'm telling you like if 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 one coin kind of sits here and talks to me um like like coins did in 2017 like engine coin and all these other coins that popped off telecoin looks banging I'm telling you right now so um, also just kind of side note, side note, if you have made it this far, like I said, I do make RuneScape videos, but I'm thinking about making a channel just for all these kind of rambles. Cause I do want to keep this channel just RuneScape related, but, uh, for the time being, you know, I'm just going to be posting here, but we're, we're going to see what's up. I'm having fun with this. You know, I'm not a big YouTuber or anything. I'm not at all. So I'm having fun with this right now. So let me know what you think in the comments and, uh, please keep me updated on what you think. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your week, and from uh, from me to you, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.